Jeremy Ellis here, maker of rockseta.com. I'm going to show you a very quick way how to make a Node.js web server that does a web socket on the particle photon. Uh, the main pages are, this is a Cloud9, once I'm logged in, we need to create a new workspace. GitHub, there's my GitHub site, Particle Spark Core Photon WebSocket Hack. And there's Particle, uh, I'm already logged into the Photon, but anyone used to the Photon would recognize that screen. So, first of all, we need to click the plus sign on Cloud9. Um, Cloud9 expects your credit card, uh, even for a free account. Teachers can um, pay a dollar a month to have it so their kids don't need to do credit cards. You invite the kids. Anyway, uh, here, give it a name. So fast, uh, calm. Uh, I'm not going to be on a team. And this, the, there are only two tricky things here. One is you click on Node.js. And the other is you go to your GitHub site and you copy that with .git. Uh, easy way to do that is just right there. So let's see, I'm back here. I need to plug, I'm cloning from Git. You see it's the URL with .git on. Click Create Workspace. Okay, so we're creating the Cloud9 Workspace. While it's doing that, let's just uh, review a couple of things. Um, there are three main files, socket.ino, server.js, and index.html. This is the web page that will be generated. This is the Node.js server. This is what gets um, sent to your uh, Photon. So let's see if we're up to date. There we go. First step, you've got to install. So npm install. Uh, this just reads the package JSON. Make sure these two, make sure any modules are, are properly set up. Nice and fast. Next step is we run server.js and notice it gives you a link here that's the link to the index web page so uh, sometimes it's a little weird to open this up if you right click or sometimes it doesn't work but all I want is open and so there's my web page back on here I need to go to the socket.ino oops let's just go back to this page I need to copy whatever URL that web page gives you. Okay, so back here, I need to go to the socket INO, and right here on the first line, it's got one that I made before. Uh, there we go, I'm copying in the URL from the web page, there's the web page, it's URL without the HTTP there, and I'm gonna save it, but this I need to select and copy it into particles. So I need to make a create a new app and call it whatever you want. Oh, it was called socket.ino. You don't have to enter. Um, get rid of the default settings. Paste the code from the Cloud9, the socket.ino, with the server set up properly with the, the new URL. And verify that it works. Uh, you can kind of see at the bottom of the page there. Let me bring this up just a little bit. Can I do that? Can't seem to. There we go. See, it, it compiled fine, so you flash it to your uh, photon. Now, a couple more things. Lots of interesting stuff here on the side. Let's just make sure you guys can see it. Uh, this one has, you got to click right there and it gives the ID. I'm not going to give you my ID. Uh, you copy that ID, paste it right there. Then back on Photon, ooh, Particle, you click here and it gets you your settings, it gets you your access token. I'm not going to show you my access token. And you click and paste it right there. Once you've got them, you store them. So every time you come back to this page, it's stored locally and you can activate it. Um, basically from here you connect to the photon the photons gonna show uh, d7 on if this sends d7 off your web socket set off set up if it doesn't then you got to go back here it's probably this URL 
that there's a problem with. You may have forgotten to put HT. Oh, you may have put HTTP here. Um, if you've got a private Cloud9 account, you may have forgotten to make the URL public. Um, that's that's the normal mess up place. Now let's say it works, and on your web page you can D7 on, D7 off, blah 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 blah. Uh, you could go down here to the bottom and try sending 20 commands fast with a 100 millisecond delay. If that works and you can see D7 blink, try 20 millisecond delay. I can normally get down to about 8 milliseconds. At about 5 milliseconds, um, the blinking is either one long blink or it's, it's kind of messed up, as opposed to 20, it's really fast uh, blinking. Now, once you've got that working, you can look at the code for this web page and add more buttons, add more things to do. Let's see on the particle what's actually happening. Really, really easy. If I send an A, puts D7 high. If I send a B, puts D7 low. Uh, C, D, and E are just changing the brightness, whatever. Um, so you add more commands based on any ASCII uh, number, uh, letter, uh, dot, period, comma. And then on your web page, here I'll go back to here. This is the actual code for the web page. Um, you would, let's find the D7s, so you see one that's working. Uh, where the heck did D7 go? That, no, that's the connect one. That's probably, that's probably, where the heck did it go? There we go. So this is a button that does the D7 code. I'm going to hit enter here so you can see the whole button, but you shouldn't do that. Button should be on a straight line. Um, all it's doing is say we're looking at the on click it's sending w for websocket send a and the other one is sending ws uh, dot send b and on the particle it's trapping the a it's putting on the light it's trapping the b turning off the light um, that's pretty much all there is to it really quick way of uh, working with the particle photon you still need to connect using the particle cloud but after that, it's all WebSockets, really fast, really simple coding. That's what you want it to do. There's your web page with buttons with that command on the button. Hope that's helpful.